But even whenever she released her her cookies, they were great. Oh, no, I see. Arab Whoa. shuffle. That we <laughs> Maybe um, if I hold this in front of my face, Capri won't interrupt me. What is happening right now? Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome in, her baby. Let's go. I'm so. I say it. I've said it for three weeks now. I'm so. I'm so in love with this intro. Dude, Can I be that, honest? What? I didn't clap last time either. You didn't clap? No. <laughs> I just gently touched my hands together. That makes I'm it really so, hard for the. It editor. makes it so hard for Giraffster. Oh. We're gonna get a comment from Giraffster saying it's it's not that big of a deal, and I'm gonna be like, it is a big deal. I don't like it. It's called it's called uniformity, and it's also called being a team. And you know what you're doing right now is you're not being a team player. I, at this point, I don't care. Jesus. What is <laughs> wrong with you today? You know what happened? She literally got into a car accident yesterday, and now she has a concussion and doesn't want to go to the doctor. So she's suffering through it right now. Dude, literally, I I call her like she's exchanging her stuff, and then she's like, I'm like, you should probably go to the doctor. She's like, I know what the doctor is going to tell me. I was like, cool, dude. Like, Yeah, you've go. seen House. Congratulations. Yeah. No, I got a concussion last year around the same time because... I got in a fight at a concert. Yeah. Uh, I was at Grayscale, and this bitch was trying to get in front of me. She was uh, trying to get to front row. I was front row. And she had a glass. Like, that venue had glass cups from the bar. That's insane. Um, I've never seen that before at a venue in my life. And she, she tried shoving me up. I, like, elbowed her. And then she got her cup and just went, like, on my head. Like, dead center so on I, my head. I went to a... I went you kind of do a saloon yeah. bar yeah. fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw, <laughs> partner! What the f- what Dude, co- what? I... Frogan, can I be honest? <laughs> You're a sick freak, okay? <laughs> How did you get into a 1800 well, so saloon bar fight? I went, to, I went to a concert. I went to go see Neck Deep with Frogan. And let me tell you, you think Frogan's like a concert goer? At, like when we went to BTR, Big Time Rush? She does not... Fucking move for anyone at concerts. I know, dude. Dude, some some person was like trying to get around her to get to her friend, and she stonewalled her, dude. Like because I know exactly how people are. Because I'm that person. If I want to, I can weasel my way to the front row just by going, "Excuse me." They'll move. I know the kind of people that do that, and I'm yeah. one of those people. So I'm not gonna fucking let them let them go in front of me. You're so nice. I just I literally just start moving people away. I start <laughs> I start Here's parting the, thing, the though, seas because like, I'm I'm short. I'm smaller than a lot of people there, so I'm like, excuse me, and they just let me pass. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not letting any motherfucker in front of me. They try. I just look at them. I'm just like, no. <laughs> this person was like really trying to get around for Ogan and was like, I really got to get to my friends. <laughs> and just she would not budge. Yeah, I was like, they what? eventually gave up and just started standing next to us. Frodo's yeah. like a uh, like you know like the Black Friday shoppers who were like <laughs> have been through it. Frodo's like, I know. Uh, listen, sweetie, I've been to over 300 concerts. I know what you're doing. I know. No, I I do. I know the kind of fucking person they are, and I'm not gonna mm-hmm. let them get in front of me. I already. Oops. I'm already short, okay? There was a point at the Neck Deep concert where I couldn't see shit anymore. I gave up. What do you what mean do you, you mean? gave up? You couldn't see at one point? Why didn't you tell me? Because <laughs> everyone in front of me was taller than me. Oh, you just back up to where I was. I saw everything. <laughs> you're also... I had a great time. You're also like... You're hyper fixating on... You're hyper fixating on the sound that's coming from the camera right now, and I can see you ADHD out. What is just it? Just focus on me, all right? <laughs> what is that sound? It's just the lens being r- r- just being run through. It's all good. You have an old camera. It's okay. The You're okay. Sound, I no, sound did like you a guys? Sh- did you guys see that? Did you see him just totally ADHD uh, out? Dude, I. We're trying to talk and have a story time, and you just totally hyper fixated on something that it has always been there, and it's never been. He's a- not being. He's been texting because he all knows. Because he knows it's always there. It's, it's all I, good. I feel like he's like one of the people at the fucking airplane when the airplane is like making weird sounds and they've got the headphones on. And he's <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, screwed is that type of guy. <laughs> and I'm like, is the airplane safe, sir? And they're like, and they're like, what? <laughs> they're like, they're like, dude, I, I don't, don't care. I don't know. Like, if, it, I'm, if it if it blows up, it blows up, dude. Oh as my long god, as no box I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just heard that. I thought. Yeah, I know. You you it sounded like a JJ Abrams film, like a Super Eight camera. Did you feel weird about me calling you out? Yeah, you're about to feel weird again, dude. Tell me how this motherfucker sends us a message the other day. About how he was watching reactionary content on Pornhub. <laughs> I had to bring it 
I'm Dude, crazy. Dude, I <laughs> haven't stopped thinking about it. It is, was the most unhinged fucking thing to send to me. You sent in our he sent in our group chat he said oh i'm on pornhub right now watching reactionary content and fergan and i both did a double take and we're like what who goes to pornhub to watch reactions of people dude watching i'm porn? telling you this is an insane underbelly of the internet okay i forgot about this is one of my topics okay but we can't show it i was thinking maybe we'll show it on the patreon there's people on pornhub who watch porn and react to the porn like, yeah, it's a whole section. It's a whole section. What? What? I didn't know that. <laughs> you know, what? I, I feel you like, know? yeah, dude. Do you watch it? No, because it's you... stupid. It's ridiculous. What? Why do I want to know someone else's take on the porn, dude? Dude, uh, yeah, it's insane. I texted them and I go, dude, you know how I know I'm not the gay? The commentary, but like two people fucking each other. <laughs> I go, I go, you know how I know I'm not gay? And they're, they're like, what? I'm like, I saw a thumbnail. I'm like, I'm deep in porn and I'm watching reactionary content. And, and I saw a thumbnail of a gay porn reaction content, but it looked like two dudes fighting. <laughs> and, and, and my brain goes, why is that, that black dude beating up? This little little <laughs> redhead kid. <laughs> and I realized they were fucking. <laughs> it was good. Sorry, sorry. I do feel. It was called a Kimbo out. Slice lookalike. It was street I, fights from back I feel, in the day. I feel called out. Yeah, I was like, "What's going on? Why are they fighting?" <laughs> like, that's the first thing my brain went to. I was like, "Oh shit, this is." Porn. It was just crazy that you would send that to me and Frogan. That you would. The problem with it was that. You told us that you were on Pornhub, which means we all know what you were doing on Pornhub. No, 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 no. You weren't on there for no, research I wouldn't text reasons. You, I wouldn't text you during the... That's not the first time I'm you texted. That's not the first time. Remember that time? No. Do you remember that time when you were d gave us a voice memo and you were that listening to Pornhub in the background? That was not real. That was a joke. Capri calls... Cap you, weren't a part, you weren't a part of our friendship oh back God, then. Dude. Capri sends me and a group of people a voice message about whatever. And all you hear in the background is women moaning to each oh, other. You remember that? Yeah, you remember that, Scoop? Yes, everybody remembers yep. it. It's a joke. It wasn't a joke. They won't. You, he Frogan. swears to God that it was a joke. It wasn't a joke. I can tell you. It, it was a, a joke. joke. On Spotify, there's also. I'm very invested in weird pornographies, okay? If you find. There's weird stuff. Like on Spotify, there's a bunch of people. You heard it here first. Okay. There's a, there's a bunch of people moaning, okay? And they just randomly moan, and you listen to that. And I found it because Spotify will like serve me stuff so i started looking up like weird shit and then it was like women moaning so then i was like this is insane so i clicked on it and then i left them a voice memo and let it play in the background just to see if anyone would like cat to fuck with them and then everyone was like oh we caught you in the act i'm like i'm not oh, that's such i was like I'm, bullshit. I'm not on, you've had no. you've had a year to concoct this story I, that you just started telling i told us now. you this 50 times no dude. i don't believe you. i still don't believe you but you know why i also bring this up why? It's because it's crazy. Because Frogan the other day ordered a vibrating butt plug off DoorDash. No, I did. did you really? There's you guys no. have been freaks this week. Let me tell you what. Frogan has been silent this entire time. Yeah, while because she's literally been thinking just, about it. She just can't wait. To no, because home. I got interrupted. I was like, you know what? I'll sit here oh. in silence. I'm sorry, my. Oh. I swear to God, oh. the worst, the worst <laughs> comments, the worst comments are like people who should be fans of ours, and they see like a clip on the channel. And they'll be like, I can't believe that man interrupted her. I'll never come back here. And I'm like, and in the video, I'm like, I'm so sorry, Frogan. I didn't mean to interrupt you. And now Raph, Raph interrupted. When did I interrupt? You interrupted. I you interrupted you. I was ADDing out. That was just a, that I was a disability. Your ADD. That yes. was a disability. Did I interrupt you on that one? I don't even remember. If I interrupted you, I apologize. You're going to get canceled this week. And it's good. I'm with you. Do it. Go ahead. Talk, Cancel me. Talk. Sit on your little soapbox. I have nothing to say. I want to hear about your concert. About, your concert. You were talking about the concert. I have nothing to oh, say. Oh, I thought we were done talking about that. No. You were short. You couldn't see. It's fine. You ordered a vibrating butt plug. Talk about that. No, I didn't know about the butt plug. This <laughs> is really bad. Why, do you have any dirt on him for this week? We started off just saying. Dude, I'm clean as a whistle. No, you are not. I'm clean, I, dude. I have dirt on you. Let me hear it. It's in my back pocket. It's always in my back You're pocket. You're wearing sweats, dude. You think I don't have a back pocket on this bitch? He's just show us his ass I crack do. right oh, now. God, dude. <laughs> I have a back pocket on my sweatpants. You showed me your whole ass <laughs> and my back pocket. I saw I saw Frogan's butt plug in there. It was crazy, yeah. dude. <laughs> I would never order a butt plug one. What was it? It was a butt plug. Okay, on so whenever I got home from the concert, I forgot to get cat food, so I ordered 
I was ordering cat food off uh, DoorDash Mart, mm-hmm. and I was also craving red velvet cake. So I just typed in cake, and for some reason, a butt plug came up. It was a big ass vibrating butt plug on Dash Mart. It was seafoam in hue. And this is what Frogan does. She goes, "Oh, I fell on my phone." <laughs> <laughs> she ordered ordered seven of them. No, I say, I say this all the time. Hypothetically, if I were going to order a sex toy, I would order it the contactless route. Through, and I what, say what does that mean? Well, like you don't see the delivery person. Yeah, I don't want to. Like, there's no way to do that at your at your place. There's just exactly. No way. So that's so I would order on Amazon or I from think, a sex store. Yeah, I think you. Should, I think you should just man up and stare them down in the eyes. Like, yeah, I'm fucking. Uh, you know where tonight. I go to buy sex toys? Where Walmart. Dude, even and I then buy they it have with everything else. Even then, they have security tags on them. Like you have to call fucking security. And I, no, you put it in between your bread, and you go. You literally you just you go. Let me Dude, get that. You and made a cock sandwich. That's crazy. No. no, just like I like that. Cheese. I assume that he's buying dildos for himself. Cheese, cheese. No, but they have, here's the thing. Even at Walmart <laughs> and Target. They have security tags on them, so no matter what, you're gonna have to talk to the fucking people. Yeah, that's all. But make them feel weird. That's that's the thing about California that I found that everything has a security tag on it. In Florida, it's a free game. There's no security tags I feel like on they toys get, like that. I feel like they get more stuff stolen though. Maybe. Florida, yeah. Bleep me out on that one. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dress her throughout that scene. <laughs> But yeah, no, I would never order a sex toy where I have to like look the person in the eye and ew. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I touched feet yes, when you're saying. Yes, sex. yes, yes. <laughs> he touched your feet. When the bitch is like, I would never order a sex toy. I'm like, ugh. I'm bringing you two closer together. <laughs> <laughs> we had a conversation about one of us here on the pod likes to touch other people's feet without their consent. <laughs> is this your dirt on me? No, I have way more. That's this is not a lot dirt. of dirt. And, and you always just stick your little. And then so they do this. So they kick yeah, your feet around. Yeah, Frogan says it ominously. She's like, there's someone on the pod who's. I'm like, Frogan, I have anxiety. I don't touch people. You think that and it's then, me? Hold on, Everyone what? in the chat's like, it's right. Wait, when did you say someone on the pod? Were you... On stream the other day. Oh, and, did you? And, 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 yeah. what did, and what did he do right before we started recording? I did uh, this. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Why, dude? I don't We're like just it. Just it around. Look at that's fucking gross. Get that shit out of my face. Uh, give with me a high long, foot. With, with your long middle toe, I'm guessing. Did I get it right? You have a long middle toe? Oh, no. I have, a long, middle, I have a long middle toe. Could you imagine, though? You're going to see her feet on the Patreon today, so check that out. Yeah, everyone. Also, everyone who subbed to the Patreon, you're going to get shouted out at the end, and we definitely see, have all the names. Raph was like, oh, I hate feet so much. Yeah, he like tries to dissect our feet every fucking time. He's like, oh, look at your foot. Your yeah, feet are your, you're spreading your toes apart. I'm like, why the fuck are you looking at my... Why is it in my eye range? If it's in my eye range, I'm going to observe. He does weird stuff. Yeah, you, he you, always you, says... Am I a foot person? No, you're, you're you a very be. dissecting person. You look at stuff that I would never notice. You're like, your jawline is 64 inch, uh, degrees too. And I'm like, I, who knows? Why that? are you shaped like a snake, dude? I'm not shaped like a snake. <laughs> I'm not a snake. Why is your jaw shake like snake-like? It's not. This is very you pro- unhinge it when you talk. I have sometimes. a protuberance, and it's a nice job. Don't say protuberance. <laughs> <laughs> I have a protuberance. <laughs> it's a nice job. <laughs> Anyways, I'm fucking tired of you guys always beating me down. And I that- build you up all the time. You fucked me up the other day, though. What? What did I do? When you were so depressing, I was like, you got to stop. Yeah, you were mean to me. I was not mean to you. I was very depressed. You were you very just... depressed. I was like, dude, you got to stop. Because <laughs> you were just, you were just, oh. you were just. I was spiraling. You were spiraling. And I was like, I got to stop this somehow. And this is how I'm, I can't compliment him because he's not going to listen to it. Okay. I, I, I had a genuine conversation, right? I had a conversation uh, the other day, but this it, it leads from this is that like I was talking to everyone and I tweeted about like everyone's poor right now. Right. Mm-hmm. I was like, everyone feels really poor. Everyone feels really fucked up. And then I went out to dinner with my friends and they were like saying last night, they were like, yo, we make like over, over, well over six figures and we're, we can't afford a home in California. It has nothing to do with taxes. People say it's like taxes, whatever. <laughs> so me and Raph, I was here with Raph at the office, Frogan and, and Raph, I was bitching to him about money and I was bitching to him about like, you know, us, like how, how, how can we like grind and do more stuff? And I just felt like, and then I started spiraling and then Raph halfway through goes, I need to leave. You're really upsetting. We me did right say now. for an extra hour so I could listen to you do all that. Yeah, but he wasn't nice about it. He was like, I need to leave. I did say, I did not say I need to leave. I said, you're depressing me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's be real. If we're going to say what I said, can let's I be, be honest? real. 
I said, you're depressing A me. real friend would have said, dude, it's all going to be good. It's, gonna it's not all going to be good. Okay, that's, oh, that's not good. <laughs> it's not all going to be good. You want, you want me to lie to you? Also, throughout that entire day, I was agreeing with you and also providing context to the conversation and also trying to build you up. And then it finally got to the point where you were just repeating everything, True. spiraling. True. And I said, hey, you're depressing me. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> True. And as a friend, I think that's I think that's commendable on my part. I do that to Frogan all the time. I say, hey, you're depressing me. I got to leave. Do you, does he do that to you? And guess who he called right after you left? You. To continue the conversation. <laughs> 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 yeah, I heard you were talking shit about me, dog. <laughs> I heard you were laying down the lay down. I wasn't laying anything down. I'll say everything that I want to say. I say it constantly. God, you Whiny guys are such. Bitch. No, I was, I was, I was actually talking nice about you. I was talking to my friends, and they were saying how be- they they love you guys, and they're like, "Oh, this podcast is great. They watch it." So shout out oh, to the home. Hold on, she just had PTSD. She did some trauma response. Wait, what just happened? happened? She had a trauma response. The way oh. she just snapped what did you just back do at this? me. What did you just do? Did you catch that on camera? No. Did you? The way you snapped at me just then, it was insane. What was it? A foot thing? I didn't snap at you. You went. <laughs> yeah. What was Wait. that? I heard like Kill Bill playing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> this podcast. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Please sub to the Patreon. Please, please subscribe or whatever the fuck you're on. It's not gonna last very long. I'm gonna be honest. One of us is gonna go <laughs> ballistic and fucking cancel it. I already know. I have a feeling. I mean, <laughs> it's 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 been bad. It's you inevitable. Know? You're saying at this point, it's inevitable. All right. Well, um, speaking of uh, getting burnt out on stuff, I wanted to talk to, about Pokimane uh, quitting Twitch, oh, yeah. but then not quitting Twitch, and then maybe quitting Twitch. Uh, I, Can you do me a favor? Huh? Can you stop rubbing your feet? <laughs> you're like a cricket. It's comforting. You're like a cricket. Dude. <laughs> it's comforting. <laughs> You can't hear it on here, but there's a slight sound. (laughs) (laughs) This is the foot episode. I got you guys something before we get into the Pokemon thing. Oh, well, here we go. What is this stupid shit? I've gotten these seven times, and I keep leaving them with you (laughs) because I don't want them. I've asked you five times to to go out on the street and twirl this around (laughs) like a little sign for a restaurant. Okay? I got you. Here, give me it. If you throw it and it hits something, I'm gonna. No, hey, hey, hey! That, that break this, this, that was. Hold on, that you're so far. Hold on, she's <laughs> she's too weak. Just, just, honey, just don't. No, 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 honey, I got you. F- honey, just show the camera before you break it. Honey, I got them. I got them both. What follow, is this? Follow Capri Sun Poppy signs. Uh, I think that a lot of pe- more people Scoot need to follow me. Uh, Scoot, please don't break it. Scoot, please. Scoot, please. Scoot. For those listening at Maybe home. Maybe if I hold this in front of my face, Capri won't interrupt me when I talk. <laughs> <laughs> why, do you look, why do you look so sexy right now, Frogan? Oh, my God. What is that? Uh, for those listening at home, Frogan has a picture of me on her face, and it makes her look a lot better. Look at better. these soulless eyes. Oh, my God. This. I made that. I made that. I made the eyes soulless. I don't know, dude. They... That's not what my eyes look like. You look at this one. Like this that. one's more I don't legit. Like I don't like this. I okay. like having my Frogan on set. Okay, you guys Here. don't want him? I'll, I'll, I'll Thir- hold on $32 to this. for this, and you guys did nothing with it. $32. I, I already have, like, four of them in my fucking trunk. But you never have got me a single follower. Can we back that up? You know that's not true. I'm. I didn't never. If anybody them. hasn't gotten you a single follower, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh, oh no! Are you okay? <laughs> He's not gonna hit you. <laughs> He's not gonna hit you. <laughs> what is happening right now? What's happening? Ah, why did I get scared? Ah, why did I get I'm scared? I'm fucking sick of it. Nobody. You got. I buy you guys gifts. You buy us gifts for your own gain. You don't buy us gifts because you love us. I, I love you. You so buy us because you love you. I, imagine if I put, oh my God, if I bought you a picture yes. frame with all of us friends together, right? All That'd of us in a picture. Really sweet. It'd be, be very nice. sweet. I want you to remember me. Yeah, so I don't I, want that. You, look like, you look like Palestinian Freddie Mercury in that. <laughs> you look like, you I'm know. Gazan Freddie Mercury, <laughs> little Gazan boy. Oh my God. You guys are so upset. Well, how does this relate to Pokemon? It didn't. I just needed the clout. <laughs> What's going on with my queen? <laughs> Talk oh, to me. Queen Pokey tweeted the other day a very ominous thing. If you guys don't know who Pokemon is, Pokemon is the largest uh, female streamer in the world, I think. I, I just made that up, but I'm pretty sure that's true. And um, she is like the most brandable streamer. Pro- pro- I would say brand safe, brand like she's got a very good brand on her. You mm-hmm. know, like she's, this is a very brand. 
So Pokimane literally uh, gets her, her uh, contract with Twitch is up and then tweets basically like, oh, I had a really fun run with Twitch. I mean, she was so connected with Twitch that she was on the she was on the fucking app. Yeah, right? she was on. She the was just like spokesperson. Yeah, she was the uh, proclaimed face of Twitch. Mm -hmm. I got she doesn't claim it, though. She doesn't want to be the face of Twitch. Yeah. Can I tell you some insider tea? What? I talked to staff one time and they told me like how much they like they told me like how much Pokemon has in subs and then how much like revenue Pokemon brings or whatever. They didn't really tell me like they didn't release details. And that staff goes, I go, well, does it make any sense? And they're like, she's like really worth it for our company. Like she's like that she's like so brandable and so worth it for us. Yeah. And I'm like, that's that's crazy. Yeah, she's <laughs> Twitch's golden girl, honestly. Yeah, she is Twitch's golden girl. So she she left and she tweeted like, hey, I had a good time. She she didn't leave. She just left her contract. And oh, so, okay. so she doesn't have a contract with Twitch. So she went and tried YouTube. And then the other day she tweeted, I'm going to be live somewhere. And she was on fucking TikTok. Oh, really? And she was playing Val. It looked really good. Like whoever her team is that like made it look nice. It actually looked good for TikTok. But the whole TikTok live uh, situation is like I've been just seeing a lot of people go over there. And I feel like for like live broadcasting, it's becoming like the new thing, which is which we'll get into in a second because it's it's getting scary. I don't I don't really fuck with it. Mm -hmm. But she's basically I feel like what happened with live and Froga knows about this stuff is like a lot of live creators, these big creators were getting these massive contracts during like the boom. And now they're not getting contracts. So they're just like, fuck it. I'm just going to go and do whatever I wanted unless I'm going to get paid 25 million to stay on Twitch. Why am I going to do that? Like nobody's offering me any money anymore. The biggest thing is a lot of these streamers had exclusivity deals, so a lot of Twitch streamers only could stream on Twitch. But then earlier this last year, uh, Dan Clancy allowed multi-streaming for everybody, no matter what their contract was. So a lot of these streamers that are in these contracts started dabbling between multi-streaming on YouTube and Twitch. I know some tried TikTok, mm -hmm. Kick. Mm -hmm. Some are on Rumble. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> Ludwig was saying in his mogul mail that I watched about the pokey situation that YouTube told him that they're not extending his contract after his ends next year. Yeah, mm. yeah, they told everyone they're going to give them a one-year or two-year deal or whatever, mm -hmm. and then they're done. And then Dan Clancy also said uh, they're, uh, not they're not signing not adding. any more people. So a Just, lot of people are kind of getting afraid like about there not being any more money in streaming. Mm -hmm. But the reason why Pokey left... Twitch is because she said that she didn't really like the environment it became. It became very negative compared to when she started mm -hmm. uh, hate festers and it's like promoted and she doesn't really want to be a part of that anymore. She was getting a lot of hate. Like, yeah. a lot. She was getting hate for like anything she did was criticized. And like people were like, well, you have to get criticized. But it became a lot of people were making content out of criticism. But the criticisms were so stupid. Like, to be honest, like it was like. Yeah, you know, like I, th I think, like for me, I'm not a, I'm not a huge Pokemon fan. Like I think she's probably cool, but it feels like she's very, she's almost like made by a brand. Like she feels like she was created as, a, as a brand. That's like personally how I feel when I watch it. But I think she's, it's an incredible, like every, uh, all of her content's incredible. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so I saw respect. Yeah, I mean, she's her brand. She, that's how she. No, her brand. So whenever is, you see yeah. her, that's her. But the thing is that the thing is about it is that like. um Every time she does something like even small, like it, people were attacking her. And I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of the hate, the hate, almost like the haters on Twitch are now becoming like the main people on Twitch. Exactly. Like, honestly, I love Pokey. Uh, every mm -hmm. single interaction I've ever had with her, yeah. she's like the sweetest person ever. Yeah, she seems cool. And even as a content creator, like she is like a staple for the girlies on Twitch, you know, mm -hmm. especially for the Minas, the Arabs. Dude, you when know? she did the Arabic mm -hmm. thing the other day, yeah. and I was scrolling on TikTok, yeah, bro, I want to take lessons with Pokimane's mom. If she's teaching her like Lebanese dialect, like she says she is, and I'm down. Chat, I'm not good enough for Raf anymore. Who is Chat? To speak it. To teach you're teaching Arabic. Me, you can teach me how to read it and write it. I want to learn how to speak it. Stop ADDing out. You're good. Do you hear that camera? <laughs> I hear the camera. Yes, it's the it's the way your shutters interact with the lens. It'll be done soon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's because it's an old camera. Um, because you beat the shit out of your cameras. To be honest here. No, it's because I dropped it the other day. Remember when I was working? I just like rolled back into the camera. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm worried mm -hmm. about. But even whenever she released her her cookies. They were great. I thought they were fucking good. I liked good. the cookies. I tried them against the... Remember at your house? Yes. I tried the cookies against the Costco, and her cookies were better than yeah. So I was going to do a YouTube video comparing the original Costco brand uh, 
that coke uh, cokey pokey like Co- bought out <laughs> Co- Co- <laughs> twitch streamer pokimane on cocaine no Coke-y what do you know bro what, what do you know? know what do you know what are your secrets Yo, leak it. <laughs> no so i bought the costco brand cookies off ebay Drugs. and then i had the mina cookies because pokey sent me a pr package of the cookies she sent me famous. them too but i also famous. she sent me them too i just had to pay $84 <laughs> for them. but i also bought some too so i could be like yeah like I bought them, mm-hmm. but honestly, hers are so much better than the Costco ones. But I didn't want—I didn't do the video because I didn't want to like create beef with anybody. Because I've already had streamers mad at me for jokes before, and I do not want that to happen again. <laughs> what do you want to do? Is it create beef with Costco? Like I don't—I just don't want to like <laughs> like hurt anybody's Costco. feelings. Costco? Yeah. Listen, con- uh, to be honest, if Costco got if yo- you got beef from Costco, that'd be insane. I would be so upset because you're my Costco <laughs> membership. And- Kirkland's <laughs> signature right now with their fists like yeah. this. <laughs> no, but like I've learned that you can't make jokes in the streaming world, bro. There, yeah, dude, you can't. <laughs> you can't, bro. Looking at the comments, I, mean, I do bro, because I don't care, but you can't. Really? I do too, you know. But like lately, I don't no, know. But I say the names. Like I go full blown. I mean, hey, the jokes. Hell. Oh my god. We started tea. <laughs> no, we're not starting tea. Stop. <laughs> don't do tea. I made a little tea in your hand. Your turn. Tea. Oh. It's dipping a little steeping oh. tea. Should we ble- should we bleep that out? Bleep yes. it out. Bleep it out. And bleep it out. Yeah. Bleep that all out. <laughs> Bleep all of it out. Bleep it all out and cover my face. That's not the way to start tea. If we're going to start tea, we start tea correctly. This is how we start tea. Scootish, go warm us some water. Do <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Capri yesterday was like, Capri the other day was like, I'm poor. I, I'm poor. And then bought a $200 Keurig for uh, the office. Dude, okay. I bought the Keurig. To, to because I needed a cup a cup of go. coffee. Okay, don't get me on this, dude. You're already mad. Here we go. I didn't have money, but the co- I drink a lot of coffee, and we needed it. We didn't have a coffee machine, and someone broke our coffee machine. We had it for seven years. We can have another one for another seven years. Okay, true. Seven years from now, I'll spend another two hundred dollars, and I'll probably bitch about it. I hope Pokey uh, doesn't leave Twitch, but I'm also excited to see what she does because I haven't heard any episodes of her podcast. But it seems very relaxing I love her and very podcast. chill. Have you heard, listened to it? I do. I listen to like chill. clips and shit. Like it's very like it's for the girly pops. I've listened to it. It's very it's like a mm-hmm. book on tape. Oh, that's nice. Actually, yeah. she seems like she'd be like really good. Like she's got a great voice. She great does. Voice. No, great I voice. I love. Pokey. We're not saying that because she's one of us. She has a great voice. You very good voice, Miss. Very, very good, very <laughs> very good, good voice, voice. Miss. Well, very, very good voice. I love. No, listen, <laughs> my <laughs> suit. <laughs> Bro, that Arabic though on main, I, I was not ready for it. I'm like scrolling through TikTok, and then she's like, she did the Arabic thing, and I said to the Frogan, and Frogan's like, I said this to you weeks ago. I'm like, I had no idea. Yeah, and I said it to you before Frogan did. Yeah. But yeah, no, I love Pokey. I'm. I hope she has success in whatever the fuck she does. Mm-hmm. Okay, so sp- speaking of uh, Pokey, is that uh, a lot of people are going to TikTok, right? Mm-hmm. And on TikTok, you got uh, you know David Dobrik's old crew. Jason Nash, everyone's canceling Jason because Jason's on TikTok with one of our friends doing uh, a live stream. Um, doing a live stream. And, and Frogan was about to talk some shit. <laughs> yeah. Frogan was about to say some shit. Yeah. Cook. Relax. Relax. Wallahi. Doing a live stream and basically begging for, for money, right? Going mm-hmm. like, I need a Galaxy, I need this. And it's battling. That's where people make their money is on TikTok battling. Right. That's why when I see Pokey on TikTok, it's like I don't think there's a world that's conducive to Pokey main city. Like she was sitting at like and this has nothing to do with Pokey, right? She's sitting at like 2000 viewers on TikTok playing Valorant. Mm-hmm. And it was like, it's cool. But like, I don't want to watch her there. Like, I'd rather watch her on YouTube or I'd rather watch her on like Twitch. Yeah. I don't want to watch her on TikTok. And when I go on TikTok, it's like it's like I have to watch this very like highly produced, really cool person chilling at home, whatever. And then the next thing is like galaxy 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 it feels like gambling and like when you go on there and you see like jason nash uh, on there like yelling for galaxies and stuff people are like canceling him when you say galaxies you mean like the phone the galaxy is like the money that they spend oh gotcha gotcha. so like a lot of people are like why are you doing this you're just like begging for money and the thing is like i it's it's hard because like on twitch or like on any other streaming service you feel like you're giving them something of value. You're making content. People subscribe, but you're not. The content isn't just the subscriptions. Uh, but on TikTok, I mean, some people do just the content, just subscriptions, like subathons maybe. Uh, but on TikTok, they're just like sitting there and 
just like all it is is battling and the battling only like you, you I don't know for viewers that or you know viewers at home or people listening it's just your video their video and then whoever gets more money wins mm -hmm. and there's there's nothing to it so a lot of people are getting like canceled for it i feel like tiktok's live streaming is in its infancy so seeing him on there like being like give me money give me money it feels weird cuz it's like oh you're famous enough that why are you asking for money but i think a lot of people don't realize that sometimes you get famous before you get rich or i mean like, he was an orbiter of like David Dobrik? Yeah. Yeah, so he probably doesn't have that much money. And a lot of people don't like him because he was so fucking rude to Trisha Paytas. Like, their relationship was very um, at the forefront of vlogs. He would, like, police what she ate on camera and be like, oh, you ate too much today. You did this. Oh, wow. You're eating this many chicken nuggets. Like, don't you think you've had enough? Well, does she have enough? I mean, listen. She's a queen. She can eat whatever the fuck she wants. Amen. But yeah, he Capri. he's he's an asshole, and then he married like somebody so much. I think he married an Arab girl. I think. Oh, did he? Yeah, but she's so much. Oh, younger that's than why him. he needs the money. <laughs> that's why he needs the money. Makes sense. You know what? I'm on his side again. <laughs> Jason Nash, keep on getting those guys. Keep keep hustling, dog. No, it's it's <laughs> it's a weird situation because I on both sides of that thing, I've talked to people on like people in the group of them, the David Dober group, and outside the group, and like not that I'm like friends with them, but like enough where i've heard stuff and like i remember when the whole him kissing the seth thing happened mm -hmm. i remember that because like we, we texted him at the time and was like yo what, what the fuck was this like you know like even us was like oh dude like are you good <laughs> you know i'm not gonna say who texted him but like a friend of mine was like are you good you know so it's like weird to be like it, it's weird man because like a lot of these like a lot of these people in that group i'm like seeing them go back and like go to regular jobs like we've you know we, we all talked about that getting a real job right and it's like it's weird. It's like where do, where do celebrities go to die? Like where do you go when your career is over? Like what do you do next? You know. Mm. And it's just that's kind of the thing. Like right now, I, there's no money in in a lot of this. I'm sorry, I don't mean to rant, but there's like no money in a lot of this industry. So a lot of people are looking for anything they can do, and TikTok Live is the way. That's what I'm saying. Like for me to go to TikTok Live, like it doesn't. It's really hard for us to go live stream this content that we make. That's like very sit down. It's kind of like a podcast. You listen to us. To do that on TikTok Live. I just don't know if that's going to like be the future. I, I don't know. Maybe TikTok needs to get its game. I think it'd be interesting to see, you know, the 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 way this goes. I could very well see like TikTok creators eventually hosting a pop-up battles live show where it's basically the same thing. They're begging for money, but they're battling other people. Like I think I feel like online content online live content is eventually going to make its way back around to where stage content is where the is where is where to go for as far as money goes so i think it's going to be weird to see kind of that progression um throughout tiktok i personally don't understand battles i mean power to whoever's doing it it, yeah, if dude. people are stupid enough to give you their money for, because you ask them to, then. But but here here's a question: like, so someone like Frogan, yeah, like Frogan, you get accused all the time of begging for money on the internet with your haters, right? I do beg for money. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't know what the fuck is happening. Hold on, right we're now. intertwined here. I think. No, we're not. Okay, keep talking. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, the way I live on Twitch at this point is getting subscribers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ad revenue on Twitch is non-existent currently because we're in quarter one right so yeah i'm gonna ask for subscribers like i need money to live yeah you know yeah it's, but it's, it's but it's different because you're providing you're providing a, a a personality and a content whereas mm -hmm. these battles are just like but is give it me more money because i want to beat this guy and have more money than him and the only way to do that is if you give me all the money that's in your pocket right now but isn't that just like i mean it, it's conducive to like if that's entertaining for you, then that's entertaining for you. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I mean, I, I could just see both sides of it. That's the issue with it. I mean, well, I, I can too, and that's. Yeah, I agree. I just don't care. Like, you want to bet for money on TikTok? Go, go for it. Yeah, that, that's what care. I'm saying. That's I think just, that's what it comes down to. Is yeah, we just don't give a shit. We don't care. I think the other bad stuff that happened, like with you know David Holker and them getting canceled, that that's like more like I I get the moral issues, like why these people sell platforms, mm -hmm. whatever. Okay, that's that's a different. I think it's weird to cancel somebody for asking because they're asking for money. They're not. You only see what is per, put out on the vlog. You don't understand what it's like to have like he, this guy has kids. He's like you know getting ready for like I don't know if, how old his 
his daughter is. I don't really want to talk too much about it, but I'm sure she's like almost on her way to college and he's probably spent a lot of his money doing the content that he's doing and trying to start things up that have had no avail. It, dude, it's hard because it's it's one of those like regardless like regardless of let's say it's not him, let's put someone else there. Forget about his crew. But if you sure. see like one of your favorite content creators, like let's say I went on TikTok lives and I was doing. A you battle. said one of your favorite, and then he said you. Well, can we back up here for a second? What makes you think that you're one of my favorite content creators? You like my content. Remember when I put a hundred streamers in the Discord? I do remember that. Remember when I didn't watch it? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I think what it is is yeah. that I think that what's going on is that it's really hard because we we are susceptible to the same criticisms as the TikTok battles meta, and mm-hmm. I don't like it um, because it's always you big for money you do this. I try to give value when people give me money. I think that's the only thing is like if the battles uh, give you some value as a consumer, then give that person your money. Uh, but if they don't, then don't go give someone your money that gives you a little bit more value for like the subscription service or whatever. I love TikTok lives. Do you? I do. The battles? No, I love I love the tea. What have like, you seen? Shoddy Bay. Listen, I my sisters and I have been like aware of her since like Vine musically. Uh huh. She's just messy as fuck. Okay, she just sits on live all day, does her makeup, and talks her shit. Love that. What does she do? She like guts into drama. I mean, with her, so she's in love with one of her friends that she lives with. Is that that dude you've been sending me? The, the you've been telling me for every time these people are in town, Frogan tries to get me to go like go to their meetups. Oh, I'm like, like their pop pops. Yeah, yeah, because like, they do like club appearances, and I'm like, Capri, you should go <laughs> by myself. She wants me to go to a club by myself. This is before I lived in L.A. Okay. <laughs> I was like, Capri, you should go. Well, look at him. I'm not going to that. Because what am I going to do? Be a a bunch of fucking, like, fucking little kids? For the meme. But yeah, so basically now they're beefing and she's talking shit on live because he has a girlfriend now and she doesn't like the girlfriend because they're making fun of each other. Like, she called the girlfriend Bones and the other girlfriend called her an Ecuadorian bulldog. Okay, where are these insults coming from? Is an Ecuadorian bulldog. What bones? is an Ecuadorian bulldog? Bones is pretty like? good. Bone, what's bones? Because she's so skinny. Yeah, bones is good. Bones is good. It's really fun. But up. so they're beefing, and then so there are roommates, mm-hmm. and, and he, they were roommates. And he brought the girlfriend over. She doesn't live in state, and then Shoddy slammed the door on her face. Is this real? Yes. So now Shoddy moved out of the house. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Can I th- Shoddy's done So now she's talking her shit Like her and Wendy went live with each other the other day mm. Try to like mend their shit Because Shoddy misses Walito Who she considers her best friend But she's also in love with Yeah I think Shoddy's problems come from the root of being in love with everyone She's Stop in love, being in she's love, in love with, with one person Two No one You said Walito Walito's the best friend And then you said the other guy Wendy I don't think everyone should be famous. No, I love it. And then <laughs> Why? Every, this is great for no, us. And then everyone, this is horrible. Hold on, it, it, gets, it gets worse. Everyone's accusing Willito of using Shoddy to get famous because she's been huge. Good. And then, Good. If any of you fucks were famous, I would use you you're doing to that. get fame. You're doing that right now. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Did you not see the comment? Who is Raph? <laughs> That's right. I don't know who Raph is. But yeah, no. It's, there's some, see, this is a drama I live for. <laughs> But, like, people have said they've made, like, upwards of $100,000 a month doing the battles on TikTok Live. Let's battle right now. Yes. I know. I've seen it. It's insane. You know what? My ass would beg for $100,000 fucking dollars a month, too. I don't give a fuck. What's the difference between them doing the battles and someone doing the fucking NPC stream? I'm going to be honest. Nothing. 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 It's just it's just fun to see where the content is kind of going and being like this is cringe. It's not good, but good for you. There's better live finding that. There's better quality on any other live streaming service, right? You go and you watch Twitch, you're gonna get better quality content, right? You know, like no matter what, you're gonna get something. hmm. uh, Yeah, most of it. Fifty. We'll say fifty percent. Fifty percent, right? Nothing on TikTok Live is good quality. It's all like sensational shit. But Mm -hmm. you know what? Like. That's the problem with TikTok is like it's conducive to swiping. It makes you want to stop. The yeah. battles like make you want to stop. 
I feel like uh, Twitch is very American central, whereas TikTok is more worldwide. And I think that's why we're seeing a lot of trends that are coming in that are different and that are weird. Have you seen the Arab us. trends? What are the Arab trends? Have you seen the Arab trends? No, which ones? Have you seen them? The Arab ones are like people that look like they're in Gaza, but they're not. They're in like a different Arab country and they sit there with like a bunch of people and they go live and people give them money thinking they're helping Arab people in Gaza, but they don't realize that they're like Syrian. I mean, there's other countries in the Middle East going through it, like Syria, Yemen. 100%. Syria's been going it through it since they were a country. Yeah. Yeah, no, 100%. But like, please, please, Rose, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's literally what they're like in Lebanon. <laughs> For me, it's funny because as an Arab, they'll be like, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, this is my family. I'm like, no, sir. they're like, Habibi, Habibi, I'm mom. Uh, I'm like, bro, everyone in the Middle East is your family, dog. <laughs> like, Habibi. Kiss that. <laughs> Rose, Rose. Rose, I feel Rose. like my microphone's about to explode. Why? Why? It's like buzzing in my hand. It's buzzing? Yes. Bzzz. I put a bomb in there <laughs> just to give you a little taste of home. It's not buzzing in your... Talk? It's because I'm doing this. Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. I swear to God. You're so Are stupid. you sure? Yes. I'm moving. I'm moving the Frogan, uh, for those listening, Raf. <laughs> listen. For those listening, yeah. Raf. Raf moved a wire across the room. My wire was just rubbing against her wire, and that's why it was buzzing for her. I felt it too. Uh. Yeah. That's the uh. Tick, dude. TikTok lives. Uh. You know what really popped off during TikTok lives, but also gives me depression is the uh, Zionist versus Palestinian people. Constantly. That whole era, it's still going on, but that so whole era was so fucking to be honest, stupid. I feel like they did it before October seventh, though. Like they, I've seen they've it. been, they were gearing yeah. up for it. I feel like <laughs> they were gearing up for October. They were getting 7th. ready for what it. The fuck are you they talking? were getting. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's funny you brought up TikTok because Universal Music Group has is completely pulling out their contract with TikTok right now, and Universal Music Group. Is pretty much TikTok's biggest supplier of artists on that platform. So the Universal Music Group has having it, it has told TikTok that they needed clarification and openness about what the AI is on that system regarding music itself. And TikTok has yet to provide that information or deep dive into what is going on. Can you look at me and stop zoning out? No, I'm listening. I feel like you're about to. Zo you're thinking like you're zoning. No, 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 out. no. I'm genuinely. This is an ADD look. Yeah, I can tell you. You, you went full. For you those who don't, you don't understand, understand I have really bad ADD, and Raf is very ableist and doesn't let me just be my. my I'm a true. part of the ableism, able, able, the able-bodied and unable-bodied. What's the unable body of you? my dad's deaf. That's not how you get it. That's not, Amen. you're not, you don't Amen. have a disability because your dad's I'm deaf. more of a minority than you are. No, Let's you fucking go, dude. That's not how that works. Anyways, Universal Music Group is pulling out because TikTok's not being very forthright with what their AI system is and what their plans with AI are. And on top of that, the Universal Music Group is also asking for more royalties for their artists, and TikTok is not doing that. Do you really think that Universal Music Group cares about the artists? Let's Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. Okay. I think Universal Music Group wants more money for themselves. Yes. And they're bla they're putting it on the artists' artists back, saying they're not getting enough. Now I think this is going to change TikTok in a very weird way. I think that either more TikTok is going to start pushing for artists without labels, more indie artists to start creating on their yeah. site. So I can imagine only like contracts with them would start being formed. If anything, TikTok might start their own music agency where they just strictly put music out for Did they TikTok need content in general. Let me ask you a question though. Do, do they need the music anymore? I feel like I don't care about Yes. They need the music. They do. Bitch. A if lot of the trends come from Ariana Grande, Drake, um, who else? Imagine, Taylor Swift is huge on TikTok. Imagine a TikTok without merrily we fall out of line, out of line. A lot of your favorite trends that are dances are from from, okay, from, from music. Here, here's my issue with TikTok, right? TikTok was really tight during like COVID, like before COVID. Yeah, I was like one of the, were... I was the first person I had it when it was musically. It yeah. just changed on my phone to TikTok one day. Yeah. And uh Basically, TikTok for me now has like kind of felt a lot like Instagram during like the really bad era of Instagram. Mm -hmm. Like it's all about the shops and the lives. It's all about making money and it feels not fun. Like you you were telling me this. I fucking hate TikTok, dude. I feel like every single time I scroll through, 
Nowadays, it's an ad for something. Yeah. And I was sucked in. What I will you, say. What do you use the most? Uh, in terms of social media? Yeah, like what do you In on? general? Yeah, not Twitter, not Twitter. Okay, I was going to say Twitter I use the most. Instagram probably. I'm on that's, Instagram That's a lot. crazy. Like, f- think about three years ago. Would anyone say that you use Instagram the most? No. No. I mean, I used to love TikTok. So I was a TikTok hater at first. I was like, I don't want to download it because I know I'll become addicted to it. And I did. But now it's just like I scroll through. It's a fucking ad. And then it's TikTok shop. And then all I'm saying is those motherfuckers that sell perfume on TikTok shop are liars. Okay. <laughs> they smell like asshole. I bought Don't buy perfume if you've never smelled it before. Yeah. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm on a hunt for a perfume. Currently, because I want one. Ladies. Yeah. Please. Like something that lingers. Something I need to smell good, too. But yeah. I mean, I'm not telling you my secrets. You have to find out one on your own, because I swear to God, if you grab the one that I have and we start smelling the same, I'm going to probably. The thing is, I, Raph already did that with Scootish. I did. I, asked, I gave Scoot. <laughs> I did give Scoot the rest of my Dolce Gabbana light blue. And then I left and I was like, I don't wear a light. Blue. I was like, I was really happy. I gave it to Scoot. But I also was like, fuck, I gave this to Scoot. Now he's going to smell like me. And people are not going to think that's my smell. They're going to think, oh, I smell like Scoot. And that threw me for a fucking whirlwind. If, that makes you, if it makes you feel better, I wore one time and then I lost it. See, you're good. It's karma. See, when your birthday comes up, buddy, I'm going to get you light blue. I mean, I, I have my own scent. I like it better. And, Perfect. He, and what, he has what a is it? The scent of musk? <laughs> What's it's your so scent? Good. <laughs> no, you do smell good. That's not funny. Greasy, dumbass. Can you leave my fucking producer alone? <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a joke. I'm just, I love you. No, hey, hey, no, 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 no. What are you doing? <gasps> what are you doing? <gasps> okay, you broke my desk. Doing? That was my turn. Oh, now Scoot left. But it when is it going to be my turn? It doesn't work I'm when gonna you I'm going to be walk- producer now. It doesn't work when you Scoot. walk off set. Scoot, come everyone's, stay here. Everyone's changing roles. Scoot, come stay here. Come stay here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're changing roles. Put a scarf on your head. Yeah, put, a, put on. Put Maybe a- they'll actually listen to Scootish talk instead of interrupting me. All right, Scoot. Well, how do you feel about this whole UMG situation? Listen, no. I just think it's a oh, shame dude, that the they the don't. Way, the way this is going, is... I think it's a shame that they don't have any Jake Gyllenhaal music on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it crazy they don't have? See, Jake I, listen, I, listen, I listen. to the podcast. I listen to the podcast. Do this. Do that. And then do this. Hold on. Hold on. Do this. Uh, <laughs> do this. Uh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. What's going? Sit on his lap. Sit on Scoot's lap. What are we doing right now? Listen, the Jake Gyllenhaal music. Listen, I was gonna be dramatic if you're the producer. What year on Spotify rapped? I swear to God, his like fucking theater album was. In are my you listening top. to Jake Gyllenhaal? Listen, play uh, Sunday in the Park with yes. George. Oh my God, he does have an album. He does. Yeah, he does. Oh yeah, I used to Should listen. Should have won a Grammy. To... Yeah. Period. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go back. So, go back. So Thank you. We need a woman. Thank you. I used to listen to. Sunday in the Park with George. Can you sit in your chair? I, let me finish my sentence okay. first. Okay, sorry. Because it was so calming. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. I'm fucking dying. The, the fucking Arab Whoa! shuffle that we <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to produce this podcast. Whoa! Whoa! You became what? Cher. What is going on? You became Cher when you fell. Whoa! <laughs> oh, if I could turn back time. Whoa! Someone needs to re-edit that. <laughs> I into hit the my song. knee. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so what do you think, Frogan? About I'm in pain today. Wait, is, what is wrong? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. What happened? She had buddy? a concussion. She won't go to the doctor. I've been telling you to go to the fucking doctor. <laughs> I've been saying it. She's like yesterday. She goes, "There's something wrong with me." I go, "You got in a fucking car accident." She just she didn't get in a fucking normal one. She merged into some other person, dude. Sick freak. You At think that, sixty miles an hour? You and think just because you have a helmet on, it's gonna no, save you? I have a confession. I hope so. I wasn't wearing a seatbelt either. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Hey, you can't even look at me, bitch. Because you don't wear a seatbelt. I don't wear a seatbelt. You guys are so <laughs> Lebanese. This is the most Lebanese thing ever. Lebanese people goes, what's what? a seatbelt going to do for me? You know how like... I'm kidding. By the way, wear a fucking seatbelt. Wear seat a seatbelt. In Lebanon, they, they, you know what they do in Lebanon? They buckle the seatbelt under you. When I was in Lebanon last, I was 17. We were driving up to the mountain. It was me and my, my uncle, Fouad. No. You have an uncle, Fouad, too? I do have an uncle, Fouad. I have an uncle, Fouad. He's a really, fa- really famous hairstylist in, in Lebanon. <laughs> I have a cousin that's a famous makeup artist in Lebanon. Everyone's famous in Lebanon. There's only three million people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All you gotta do. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
go check we them were out. famous in Lebanon for the If you're in Lebanon, go to Fouad Raful's uh, hair studio. Anyways, a shout out to my my uncle. <laughs> and we were driving together, and then he just hands me a Heineken and is like, drink this. I'm like, what? I'm like, we're driving. He's like, drink it. Drink it. And so I did, and we drank and drove all the way up to Dude, the mountain. Dude, you know what's crazy? And that's not a brag. I was actually f- afraid of my life. Do you know what's crazy? And cops were like around. They saw us. So like, they were like, <laughs> you just hold the Heineken up. Yeah, and they're, like, some... they're like this. When it I was, was like a commercial. When I was 13, my cousins were like, drink. And so we drank. It's the first time I ever drank in Lebanon. Yeah. And then they're like, no, we teach you to drive. <laughs> Deadass. <laughs> she never had that experience, but that's what happened to me because she didn't go. But that's what happened to me. They're like, no, we teach you to drive. On New Year's Eve, they shoot AKs into the sky instead of fireworks. They don't do that. They do. No, they do that where you live. They, you do, live where, they, the, do, yeah. they do where I was, yeah. Yeah, you fucking village-ass person. Yeah, it's true. We didn't can't, can't afford fire, fireworks, so they just shot AKs Can you go the to sky. the doctor, please? She calls me, and she's like, I have nose pressure. I'm like, yeah, you have a concussion. She's like, no, my, I just have sinuses She issues. knows better. The problem is she's concussed. She doesn't have all her brain cells. I said the exact same thing. I said, Frogan, you are a public health expert. You should know that you should go to the hospital right now. And, and she's like, uh, no. I'm like, okay, dude, whatever. Like I said at the beginning, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. I had a concussion last year. Mm-hmm. And they were like, take a Tylenol. Okay. Chill. Did you take a Tylenol? No, I didn't. No, I, yeah. I don't have Tylenol. You're filming, so you a, you're filming a fucking podcast right now with a concussion. What does this look like? What does this look like yeah. to you? Do you see lights? No, what I don't. This? I'm great. I believe her. I just feel pressure in my nose. Like right here. That's not your nose. That's Under your pressure. So anyways, yeah, the universal music. It's just cold in here. That's my issue now. I just don't know what. Um, my toes- turn, off the, turn off the AC. My toesies are. No, it's fine. Um, Universal Here, music. No Fix. more feet problem, for you guys. Problem solved. Oh God. Um. So I don't know where I don't know where TikTok's gonna go as far as the Universal Music Group stuff goes. Um. um here. Here's what honestly, like I, personally, like TikTok for me feels shit. I, I don't like it. I feel like it's. I kept thinking it was just because I was a boomer. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I don't want to go on TikTok and see an ad and then a live stream and then a fucking video that's weird. Yeah, and then I stopped. I stopped trying to follow trends and stop. Like really posting on TikTok two years ago because I was like I can't like I don't want. Who's gone do this. viral recently on TikTok? No one. The last yes. What? Who? Who? My emo kings. Oh, that's true. No, Johnny they are. Gilbert and Jake Weber and Tara Yummy. Tara Yummy is a great that's fucking name. Emo. I love Tara so Tara much. Tara Yummy is yummy. a great fucking name, dude. She's so like. So basically, they're making like emo on the rise. Mm. So that's why you see like the resurgence of like alt and emo. Oh, nice. Um, but yeah, dude, like they've been going viral. Uh, Johnny has been in the like content creator space as long as I've been on the internet. Okay. Uh, he used to be in this like content group called My Digital Escape. It was like all emo people. <laughs> My digital escape. <laughs> Is, like, what is, he doing? is that the hair? That's yeah. <laughs> So, like, they, and, like, back in the day, like, they would, like, go on warp Tour and just, like, meet people and, like, vlog it and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, there was, like, falling out. Uh, but Johnny streams on Twitch. Okay. Jake streams on Twitch. Um, but, yeah, so they've been recently going viral on TikTok just for simply existing. Oh, nice. But I Good like them. them. Johnny's really nice. That's cool. Um, yeah. The emos are on their eyes. Yeah. Dude, I saw Tara's Instagram story yesterday. She was getting a tram stamp, and I was like, I, I kind of feel inspired. To get a tram what? Stamp. Excuse me? You know what you should get on the back? What? I mean, you should get a seatbelt. You're going to get a tram stamp? You can't even make that joke because you don't even wear one. Yeah, but I'm ready to accept my fate. What if I am, too? You're not. What if I am? You're not thinking you're not, clearly. You're not thinking clearly. You're concussed. What Wait, if I am? Can I ask you a question? Because the speaking of not thinking clearly, you want a tram stamp. Mm-hmm. You have a hijab. Also, mom, I'm just saying this right now. I'm joking, obviously. My mom watches the podcast. I'm joking, mom. He's not joking, and he does drugs right off all of these desks. I do all the drugs, mom. And he keeps saying he's going to die at 40. I do. But but you know, you know your boy ain't living past 40. Stop saying that. Stop saying that. Why? What do you think happens after 40? I die. Why? Why? I don't become blind and like... I can't see or really I mean, we'll around. find out in five years. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Don't yell at me. Laugh at yell you at know her. What? You know why I cut Frogan off? Because everything comes out of her mouth, doo-doo. Every time she says something, it's doo-doo. 
Every time. Am, am I wrong? I'm not going to defend and I'm not going to fight. Yeah, he's sweet. You're being complacent with the oppressor. I'm not the oppressor. She's beating me up. She actually says gas shit like all the time, like she real does. shit. She, does. It's a she does yell at you a lot. All the time. But like in a good way. I like it personally. And then the comments are like, he's so rude. I'm like, this motherfucker. I, t- I, I you know what's good that Cap- because we all thought that I was going to be the one getting us in trouble. It's actually Capri that's going to get us in trouble. And I'm somehow getting the blame for it. Yeah, you are getting the blame. Why are you getting the blame? Dude, there's a clip that we have. Like, it's Capri talking mostly. They're like, Frogan, I love you, but this is a good content. I was like, I didn't do shit. Like, I only said one word. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? It's because you're more famous than both of know, us. Do you know why? It was the way that the the click the clickbait was framed. They didn't realize it was like you. I, I think on YouTube you can't clickbait anymore. I'm gonna say it again. I fucking hate leftists on Twitter. I don't care. I I, I agree. I tweet I tweeted something the other day. I was like I tweeted something about uh um what was it? There was something like someone was saying like oh people who go after leftists but don't do anything blah blah. And it's like all you're doing is going after you're hurting each other. I'm like no no no. I think that I think that you're saying I hate leftists on Twitter because of the genocide stuff that's happening and they're not saying anything. Mm. No, I just hate them. Back to the tramp stamp. <laughs> um, yeah, go back to the tramp stamp. I want to hear about this. I, know, I just want one. You want a tramp stamp yes. or what? We got to get tattoos. I'm like, I, I want a tattoo. For one. That, I, th- I think that's my issue. I want a tattoo so bad that you don't even know. I where, don't know just... what. But then I saw a tramp stamp. I was like, you know what? It's kind of a look. A tramp stamp? What? I think I'm going to get one. I think the idea of a Muslim with a tramp stamp is the funniest thing in do my it. head. You should do it. I'm, I, you know what you should get? What? I think I'm, I know what I'm going to get. What? You get a tramp stamp. Get a butterfly. Get me walking. No. Get the evolution of man just not going across. Get a butterfly room. with our faces on it. No. Oh, that would be so fucking. I don't want to be that close to her ass, dude. Just, you know what I'm saying? Being that close to my ass would be a privilege for anybody. Mm. You shit out of that. I'm no thank you. And also, look at this. What if this just right on your ass? I would never get any of your faces tattooed. Full well, of hey, fake, speak fake for yourself. Murdoch has my face tattooed on his leg. That's true. Drafts to drop that picture. Right he here. also has me too. He made me a little Japanese pinup girl. Did he really? No, that wasn't. He, that was a cool tattoo, but he did not. That wasn't. He you. said that was me. He can't just say that's you. Listen, he said it was me. It's declared. He did say it was right. What would you get as a tramp stamp? I don't know, but I mean, I already have dumb tattoos anyways. I have eyes. Yeah, I don't like it. Because the peekaboo's at you? Yeah. That's the whole thing. Every time I see it, I'm like, who's looking at me? (laughs) I have this (laughs) ugly heart. I got it because it was ugly. That dead ass. I was like, it's kind of ugly. I want to get it. So then Mm, I got it. That's that's the idea for tattoos? Okay, what else? That's Um, for Frogan, yeah. I have two on my ankles. I have one here, one here. And then I have move along in Arabic, which I hate. (laughs) Move along? What does it say? (laughs) How do you say it in Arabic? (laughs) Move along. American Rejects song. This is why you shouldn't get tattoos when you're 18 years old. You got the All American Rejects song in Arabic? <laughs> what is Move Along in Arabic? How do you say I'm it? I'm going to be with you. It's probably not right. It's, it says, Can you read it to me? Read it, says, it to me. No, I don't read read it, it to me right it's, now. It's a prophecy. It says at the age of no, 27. No, I want to know what it says. Tell me. I want to know. Yeah, no, let's read it. I don't want to well, go on, down there. Pull, pull that. Pull. But actually, don't because I don't want to. I don't want these freaks. I want to know what the fuck that says. Because it's probably like, yellow <laughs> Ruhman No, no. What did you I'm, say the other day? <laughs> creamy milk or something? I said, Ew, no. Halib is Zub. Halib is Zub. You know what my favorite is? We got canceled in Lebanon. Lebanon, we worked it out. We're all cool. But they showed the video of us apologizing. They cut out <laughs> the me saying, my breath has a tasty milk penis. Yeah, thank God they cut that out. <laughs> I think would have it would have really <laughs> fucked us up even more. I think. Yeah, Frogan, I really need to know what this tattoo says. <laughs> Dude, that was the worst thing you've ever said in your entire life. I I don't I didn't I don't think I said it, and I just I don't think I said anything like that. I think that it was. Uh, there's a lot of CGI going on. AI has gotten. Are you trying to gaslight everybody into thinking you didn't say my milky penis? No, he said your your penis is milk. I said no. I said he the, said your penis is milk. No, she doesn't understand Arabic. Your penis I said the is milk, milk of your BB. Your penis is a milky land. Your oh, penis your penis is, is a milky land. land. Oh, it's gotta be so milky. <laughs> get the get me out of here. 
<laughs> I can't deal with this today. Yo, speaking of milky penis, tell me about that Florida lady with the OnlyFans on the back of her car. <laughs> yeah, the transition. Oh my God. The transition is crazy, dude. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> in Rogan's face. Rogan's face just goes, oh my God. <laughs> In Florida, yeah. there was a woman who is now... You're a Florida native. Yeah, okay. Florida. Did you he see was her? actually born in New York. I was born in New York. But he lived there his I was whole raised life. in Florida. Okay. But then if we... Hold on. Yeah. If you're want, if you going to go by that logic, then the girl you were talking to a while ago is an L.A. native. Ooh. You're from New York. Yeah, yeah that's okay. right, buddy. <laughs> okay, keep going. Woman in Florida was uh was you wiped was, your hand off? Huh? You wiped your hand off? No, I was itching my calf. <laughs> if I was gonna wipe my hand off in front of you, I would just do it. Right? Uh <laughs> <laughs> Woman in Florida is being uh, criticized me. for having the decal on the back of her car uh, that says OnlyFans and then has her handle on there. She yeah. went to go pick up her kids at school and everybody yeah. saw it. And now she's getting hate not only on the Internet, but um, f- I believe from the school as well, um, saying that she can't pick up her kid anymore. Some shit like that. Because <laughs> the porn stuff. Because of the, the porn stuff on the back of her car. So she has to like take it off or something like that. And my deal is, who gives a fuck, dude? Let this woman work. I guarantee you there are some parents that have stickers there that are like FBI, female body inspector, or like the Playboy, like body, the bunny, or like the body stickers. They don't say shit about that. No, they don't. But the fact that they're promoting OnlyFans, and listen, OnlyFans is... A majority of a pornographic site because there's a lot of freedom there, but it also houses other content as well that people don't know about. Okay, so God don't, don't, forbid, don't, don't say that. I'm playing devil's advocate. Don't play devil's Obviously advocate. Obviously, the mom is popping that yeah, puss. Yeah, she's popping the it. Mom is popping just say the puss. It. Just own that shit. Just no, say I'm not. I'm saying she is. She is 100. percent Devil's, like, devil's good for her. avocado. Yeah. What about devil's avocado? That's what we said last time. No, yeah, or the devil's avocado. Okay, here's the deal. Wait, what were you gonna say? Devil's avocado to what? Yeah. No, I don't have anything. To say. <laughs> Speaking of devil's avocado, your outfit is oddly avocado shaped today. You're, you're yeah, yeah. You green, have green and green and yellow is a, is and black. In. That's avocado. You look like an avocado. So this morning, Raf texted me. He was like, "I'm on the way." I was in bed. Okay. I didn't get ready. So you woke up like this. I mean, I got I got dressed. I put on. I was gonna say. Listen, chat. You're never gonna see me wearing leggings ever again. Not chat. Listen, podcast listeners. Yeah, chat. You're never gonna see <laughs> me wearing leggings ever again. Okay, I feel very vulnerable. For those listening on Spotify, Frogan is just lifting up her legs and kicking them around. And you hear my knee crack? Yeah, I did hear that. That's how you know you're getting fucking old. Does it? You just have a lot of knees calcium in your knees. Yeah. Oh God, that one sounded rough. Did dude. I crack? Yeah. I couldn't even hear it. That's how I know I'm old. Yeah, I'm so old I can't hear the crack. Too much hair in your ears. And I'm wearing a bearing shirt. What's bearings? Oh, you got a bearing shirt? Yeah. You bought one? You were right next to me when I bought it. I didn't know you bought something. I thought you just like took a peruse and like left. No, I talked to them. Oh, I didn't realize you bought anything. Yeah, I had to. That's cool. I didn't know you were buying anything. I would have bought. I would have bought merch too. Yeah, I bought it because. I was gonna buy a, a, a drain hat. Oh, God, they're so fucking good. I'm so mad that I didn't. Uh, I'm, you guys invited me. Anyway, so how do you feel about the... You wouldn't want her gone, dude. I'll be I'm completely do honest with you. I'm going to do that with you guys. Can I be, you do that. Was, you can always go out with Scooter. She well, never I, us. You, he lives six minutes away from can you I guys. Okay, we live away. 15 minutes away from each other. He, I, honestly, I think Capri would have liked it. It was a lot more punk than... And we did ask him if he wanted to go. That you guys did? Did we? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. Did you? I was sick for a week, so... I hate you. I hate you both. Uh, I'm gonna don't do- worry. He would have really enjoyed it, I think. I don't think the- he would have. He would have enjoyed Drain, I think. You like punk, right? Maybe. He listens to music that's like synthwave at this point in his life. Oh, that's true. I like synthwave. 90s, 90s synthwave. Yeah. I like 90s music. Yeah. <laughs> I like everything. Yeah. Um, the, the, uh, the, the woman at uh, Florida, mm-hmm. I wanted to... To, to to wrap up that thought, but the thing is, like, I I don't really care. Like, 
I don't care. It either. is it is weird. Like maybe the kids are like looking up someone's mom, so they're like, "Oh, I saw your mom naked." Like that kid's gonna get like a little bit of hate from the other kids, but like who gives a shit? Have you seen Jesse's mom, dude? Is it like, wasn't it elementary school, middle school? I think it was like high a, school? I think it was like a middle school. Then here's my take: parents should control what their kids are fucking looking up. Then, you know, I have a I have a crazy parental take. controls. I think the government should actually control what kids are looking up. <laughs> To be honest, I just think we like we shouldn't say gay anymore, just in general, in <sighs> schools. I think I think schools should stop teaching gayness. I think they they need to stop. They don't exist. Dude, the you know gays though aren't real. So. You know what's crazy though? Let me just stop you right there. I'm obviously joking. Thank you. It was a joke about Florida. I would cut that. <laughs> I'm keeping it in. Yeah, we're keeping. We're it. keeping it's a it in. It's a it's a joke about Florida. I don't think we should say gay anymore. Florida joke. Did you ever say gay when you're in Florida? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, that's crazy. I love the gays. Uh, no, but I, I could, I could kind of like, I, it, I just don't care. Like the sex work is like one of those things that's so demonized in America. But you go to Europe, they're literally fucking like naked on the streets, and they seem fine. Call Me by Your Name was literally a sex movie about like a 17, 16 year old, right? So, I didn't is see that, that right? movie. Am I wrong about that? I have, have you no seen idea. that movie? Army Hammer. Well, that sounds that Timothy sounds Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet. That sounds awful. What do you mean? That's a sex movie about a seventeen year old. That's in a grown man. It's fucking illegal. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the movie. That's insane. Yeah, thank you for saying that. I agree with you. I didn't know that. I didn't watch it. I watched this Wonka movie. <laughs> <laughs> same thing. Kinda. Yeah, I watched Wonka. Kind of the same thing. Sure, sure. So sure. WSJ. I forgot what the fuck that stands for. Wall Street Journal, dog. I was thinking Washington <laughs> Square Journal. <laughs> oh, fuck! You have a concussion! Uh, they posted an article about my hometown of Dearborn saying that Dearborn... I'm going to pull it up, like the exact screenshot of the article, because I tweeted about it yesterday. AB also tweeted about it. AB is my cousin. Bro, AB is such a nice guy. AB is a Love cousin. We're both from Dearborn. Wait, so what they say about Dearborn? What's going on I with Dearborn? I got you, honey. Hold on. It says, welcome to Dearborn, America's jihad capital. Imams and politicians in Michigan citywide with city side with Hamas against Israel and Iran against the US. Um so Say that again? Basically they're saying the it's imams and the religious the religious leaders and yeah. like citizens are siding with Hamas over US and Israel. So they're calling him jihadist. Yeah. So uh for those of you who don't know, Dearborn is the biggest Arab population in America to the point where people call it like the little Middle East. Um, I was born and raised there uh, until I went to grad school. Then I moved away briefly, but then I moved back until I moved to L.A. Uh, so I've been there my entire life. Um, and I've in previous episodes, I've always talked about how it's like a little like. A little bubble. Yeah. Where you just like around people that are like you and. So basically, obviously, everybody there is Arab. Most of them, most of them are Muslims. Mm -hmm. The Christian Arabs are in cities around. Right. Is there Christian Arabs there? Uh, in Dearborn, yes. What kind? Um, like Aya's best friend is uh, Jordanian Palestinian, and she's Christian. Ooh, love that. Are they? Uh, yeah. Like, do you know what kind of Christian are they? Sorry, I don't mean to. I don't. Mennonite or well, there's like Maronites. There's, Maronites. There's a lot of Coptics. Coptics yeah. are basically like they're very. The you know people who like and she's not Coptic yeah people well, who then they're probably Maronite that seems to be the most no not in Dearborn a lot of really? Lebanese Lebanese mm -hmm. are in Florida and California yeah 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 that's true and in Brazil yeah like Christian Lebanese all the Christians mm -hmm. are here or they're in uh, Florida mm -hmm. big time that's mm -hmm. where my dad actually originally went is he went yeah. to Florida I was supposed to live there um, but yeah sorry I don't mean to cut you off keep going so yeah so basically the reason why so my dad was an immigrant from Lebanon uh, during the war. My dad is pretty young. He's like 50 years old. Yeah. Um, so he came to America in the 90s. Did he fight? No. Okay. Um, Pussy. My dad did. My dad could beat up your dad. My dad did a little bit too. <laughs> Slay. Did your dad fight? I don't think he fought, fought because death, but I think he was in the middle, like within the streets. You know My dad I mean? was a victim. My dad used to always like tell us like these wild stories about like, he was playing like soccer with his friends and the ball went into a bush and there was a bag and it was like somebody's chopped up dead body. He saw somebody like they like tied his arms and like they drove in opposite directions and like Jesus. ripped them apart. Like 
The shit my dad used to tell us was like insane. Yeah, they shot up my uncle and they they took his body and threw him on the steps of my parents, uh, my dad's house and said, "Come out." Look, my, my dad was in Subran Shatila, like. Yeah, your dad was on the other side of the war. My dad was on. <laughs> <laughs> like enemies. Yes. What's cr- okay? What's crazy is we we you know the whole purpose of this pot is like we have a Jewish, we have a fucking Muslim, we have a Christian, and what's really funny is we never really talk about it, but like we literally fought on uh, like they're like we would not like now in Lebanon it's all everyone knows it's fucking dumb. Yeah. you know they mm-hmm. all know it's the United States. But, like, dude, when I used to go as a kid, it would be like, yo, that's the enemy. Be careful, you know? <laughs> like, but to be honest, I don't think my dad has ever, like, shit talked, like, Christian Lebanese people. No, ever. Christians are the racist ones. Christians yeah. are very racist towards Muslims. So I mean, you know that. My dad came here. Well, do I? Are they bad there for you guys? They're bad for me. Sorry, I mean, like. Oh, towards Muslims? Yeah. 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 No, they're very racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, no there's, a literal, there's literal Muslim sex that. Other uh, like Christian Arabs are like don't don't go there, they're, don't go there don't don't even don't even don't even. Drive it's it. getting it's way better. It's so different now. It's different. It's now. way different than it was. But it, like there's the the younger generation like our age, you know, probably like your age is like you can't even like if you say anything about religion, they'll fucking cut you. They'll be like, mm-hmm. hey, don't fuck with that, you know? Yeah. Because they killed each other like, and they saw their parents go through this like you know. But yeah, like my dad immigrated. He moved to Dearborn. Uh, so my dad has 17 brothers and sisters, so, and he's on the younger end of my... So your grandparents fucked. Yeah, I mean, it was war, you know? They had to create people, in, in, like, in case they died, you <laughs> no, know? I don't think that's a thing. No, but yeah, my dad had 17, like, Arabs typically have really big families. Uh, my dad is on the younger end, so, <sighs> low-key, I think about this a lot. My grandma low-key left my dad in war. And like came to America without him. Oh, that's probably why. Isn't that crazy? That's fucked up. My dad was my dad was uh my grandfather was the opposite. My grandfather said leave to my dad. Mm-hmm. And my dad said, No, I don't want to leave. And then he sent him to the United States. My dad hated Florida, you know, rightfully so. And then it was like, fuck this, this is boring. And then went back. And my grandfather was really mad and was like, No, you need to go back. You know? It's crazy. But yeah, my dad, like he came, he worked at a gas station. And, like, one story he told me, he was, like, this guy came in and asked where my dad is from because my dad is a fob. He is a fob, mm-hmm. fresh off the boat. He had an accent. He, I don't talk to my dad. I haven't talked to him in, like, six years. He doesn't really have an accent anymore. No my dad still does. He, I mean, my dad probably, my dad sounds exactly like Bobby, really. Oh, okay. Um, and the guy was, like, yeah, I, I served in Lebanon in, like, the 80s. And... He was like, I was on this ship, and he said the name of the ship, and my dad was, like, in it, because my dad lived in Beirut, and it was, like, a U.S. ship that just bombed the shit out of Beirut. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, we killed those terrorists. My dad was like, terrorists? Like, it's all civilians. Like, it's, like, people that are, like, Lebanese that live there. Anyways, moral of the story is uh, a lot of Arabs that are from, like, Lebanon immigrated to Dearborn because the automotive industry. Right. Um, we had the assembly line. We had, like, Ford, yeah. Chevy, uh, GMC. So there were jo- there was, like, jobs for people in Detroit. You know what's crazy? When people think about the automotive industry leaving the United States, they never think that the people that were affected were not, they think like white people. Mm-hmm. It was Arabs. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was Arabs that got fucked, you know? But yeah. C- c- yeah, so that's why a lot of people like uh, immigrated to Michigan because the industry in Dearborn. Yeah, is... the industrial complex was like booming mm-hmm. back there, yeah. So it created jobs. And I always say this too, like I was like thinking about the article. I didn't actually read the entire text of it. I just read that little mini uh, headline. Uh, and I've talked about this on the pod before. Mm-hmm. Like the first political issue I ever learned about was Palestine. Like they, my dad had Al Jazeera on the TV 24 seven. We saw the dead bodies and people being blown up ever since I was a kid. So although like seeing everything on Twitter now is very jarring, it's stuff that I've also been used to for my entire life because I feel like most Arab parents don't shield their kids from no. what's happening in the Middle East. So I was like, these people are mad. The WSJ, what the fuck is it? The Wall Street Journal, owned by Amazon. Oh. Are they? Mm-hmm. Since when? Oh, not the Wall Street. I'm so sorry. I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the other thing. Sorry, no, it's not. It's not. It's no, just the Wall Street, Street Journal. Journal is not. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. I'm thinking of the Washington Post. Washington Post, I think, is owned by Amazon. Not Washington Post. No. Uh, 
It's gonna kill me right now. I'll, I'll look it up. Times. Found by Rupert Murdoch. The Wall, Wall Street, Street Journal. Yeah, yeah, Rupert no, but Murdoch I, I, owns that. Murdoch. Uh, I'm th- what's the one that's owned by uh, Bezos? Uh, it's another one that newspaper? people. Yes, yes, there is one owned, but yeah, let us know. Um. So basically. Like we talked, Washington talk- Post. Washington oh, Post. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like we talked about in previous podcasts, like I feel like a lot of people just became aware of what was happening in Palestine post October seventh. So a lot of like Arabs, uh, especially Muslim Arabs, are getting ridiculed for like having that strong stance behind Palestine and the vocal voices. Yeah, but I feel like a lot of the yeah. I mean, this is hard, especially for me. in a city that's like Dearborn. Well, they're calling them jihadists. That's the problem. It's yeah. Like, yeah. The issue is that they've already they've already framed jihad as a word that's like terrorist. Right. You know. But the issue is that like if this was World War Two, the uh, the Nazis would be the Zionists. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, we would be the bad guys in this situation because what they're doing is you know genocide. Uh, yeah. I literally, America kind of just feels like Mussolini in Italy. You know. I don't know if that's crazy to say, but it kind of just feels like we're like supporting this because we feel like we have we have a big stake in israel succeeding it's yeah it's our military base yeah you you're you're jewish like how do you feel how do i mean how how do you how do you like i never asked you about this shit like how do you feel how do you feel like do you ever had like holocaust survivors on your family side do you have like anyone who's like dealt with that um i can't say for sure if i have or haven't i I don't want to be like yeah i haven't but is that like a big thing like that you guys talk about we don't, I mean, we are very aware of it. I don't, I think we were very fortunate that we got out of it before anything happened. You know, um, yeah, I think our history kind of like, we we, we, we fled Poland and Russia before. It happened. Like weird things happened down there. I have family that died in the Holocaust. You d- Yeah, you do. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So my... Mom's dad, my grandpa, his parents came from Poland, I want to say in the 30s or 40s. I don't remember which. But whenever they came to America, they changed their last name to something very American. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say it, but like bleep it out. I just want to give you guys a context. Mm -hmm. Bleep it out, Drafter. So my mom's last name is... Mm -hmm. And the last name before she moved to... Or they moved to America was... Like, oh, they're Polish. Yeah, dude, so, I see that all the time where they just like they'll cut some of it. Off, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's they. It's a literally cut the check out and put and like change yeah. the spelling to like everywhere. It's like a common American name, right? Drafter, make sure you bleep it out in our mouths too. So it's like so. Then we looked it up in the Holocaust uh, database. Two hundred plus people. Mm-hmm. And then we looked my looked up my great grandma's last name. I forgot her last name, but it ended like with the Wits, you oh, know. Like, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. The is a typical Polish name, and yeah. there's also Bleep that out a bunch well. too. I mean, the Wits is fine. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah. And I don't know if I have any survivors. I don't know my I don't know my grandma's original last name. I know like her last name, right? Um, but I don't know. Because it sounds that's that last name sounds a little bit more English and a little bit more um, European and not like Polish Russian. What's What's crazy about all that is like I feel like we're the Palestinians, me, you know, are now the people that are going through this, you know. And it's weird to see people who have gone through it turn around and be like, "Oh yeah, you're pe- you're actually bad. We should get rid of you." Honestly, I feel like it's not like the Holocaust survivors that are saying that no, or not. like anybody relative to the Holocaust. I haven't really seen any that. Holocaust survivors speaking out on this. I, I think the most I've nor- seen is there's, like, there's, there's survivors that have been. Yeah, speaking survivors out about are this. being like, we survived this. Like, we don't want this to happen. To well, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. like the most I've seen is them being like, I don't I don't want this to happen again. You know, and that's kind of like the limit of what they said. And maybe they are saying like, you know, Hamas is doing this to us. Descendants, descendants of them. Okay. So like for me, you know, like my, you know, we went through all everyone's history, but like my history is that my grandmother was kicked out in 48. Right. Uh, Her grandmother lived in the United States in New York. Uh, They left the United States to go back to Palestine because the United States had an economic collapse called the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. And then when they went there, they got fucked. I mean, she was probably, I think she was part of the lost generation, which is the generation that's like most like millennials today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, They saw the depression. They saw, Mm -hmm. uh, they saw also a pandemic. They, you know, 
That was my great grandma. She was she was chill, dude. She also had a New York accent. She had no Arabic accent. She was full Arab. She had no Arabic. She couldn't speak Arabic. Hey, well, she used to be yous? like New York fuck. She's like, hey. I don't want to say my name, but she used to be like, get over yard. here. And I was like, yard. And then my grandma had the how are you? And I'd be like, bro, as a kid, I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, did she get adopted? <laughs> Yeah, but like that's the thing is like I was kicked out like and then what happens is someone like from the fucking Wall Street Journal will be like this is a jihadist place because bro I'm Christian Palestinian you know again I say that purposefully not to like denounce Islam because it's hard because I don't want to I'm trying to juxtapose that's what it comes off as you're like I'm not one of those damn Muslims I'm <laughs> no, one of those Christian no. Arabs we're totally different from that no because well, like, whenever you whenever you make that specification that's kind of what it sounds like. I know that's not what you're doing, but like people have used you doing that to me yeah. against me. No, I know. And and the reason why I'm saying that is because not because I'm trying to juxtaposition like, oh, my God, where there's good ones there. Right. It's that even those Thank people, you. even when you tell them that has nothing to do with Islam, they still are racist. They don't care. They still will say you're Muslim. No matter what I say, they'll be like, you're Muslim, you're Arab. It's all the same to me. I don't care. Exactly. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, they don't care. Television. They don't care. And, yeah. and I'm like trying to explain to them like, yo, like you're fucking insane. Like it's just racism. I Even Arabs that like the Christian, like we're talking about Christian Lebanese, they don't like Muslims. Like they're racist. They think in America they're white. I'm like, bro, you know that Americans think that you're also Muslim. They don't know the difference. Do you want to know a fun fact? Huh? Uh, Arabs actually fought to be classified as white on the census. And now they're fighting to be reclassified as Arab on the census. I didn't know that, actually. I yeah. actually had a big problem with she not being that. able to say that I was an Arab mm -hmm. on the census for the longest time. It's fucking so, annoying, right? fun fact. Even on anything. Like, I, I'm sorry to cut you off. No, like, on anything. Like, even when I was, like, taking tests, like, SATs or anything like that, any test growing up, I'd be like, why don't they, they just have Caucasian? I'm like, I'm, I don't want to be classified as Caucasian. Right. I'm, I, yeah, I'm white, but, like, I'm Arab. Like, that's... Yeah, You're, this is wrong information. So weird. I always clicked other. I always like select other. And That's put what Middle I used Eastern. to do too. I don't even put down. Just select other. Yeah. Whatever. I used to work in diversity and inclusion research. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was one of the big issues. Is there were so many Arabs we were dealing with, and whenever you don't have that, like at the end of the day, from the research perspective, uh, Arabs don't have the same needs as white people. Yeah. So that makes it like a big missed population. Because a lot of the times Arabs are required to select Caucasian white, and a lot of the times they don't have specifications of like ethnicity on the surveys. That happens with black people because they just put black, mm -hmm. but all of Africa is so different, and they mm -hmm. have different diseases exactly. based on yes. each region. They're like, you're just black. It's like Africa is massive. You're not just black. Where I, that's why I ask people like, where do you know where you're from or what tribe? Like, because your health issues are different, right? Per tribe. Yeah. That's wild. So whenever I was in research, uh, I love my research team. We would have race. We'd have every single race listed. And then we'd have like literally every fucking type of ethnicity. So we had the exact needs of every single person. And then I quit my job and became a streamer. But, <laughs> uh, but one thing we learned about is yeah. uh, Arabs actually wanted to be classified as white because they thought if they were classified as white on the census... They wouldn't face the discrimination they were facing, but right. that obviously didn't change anything. And then 9-11 happened. I think this happened in the 90s, I want to say. Mm -hmm. And Italians fought for the same things, too, in like the 40s, I believe. Like they wanted to be they were had their own like designation and then they fought to be classified as white. Because whiteness isn't a race. It's yeah. a, it's it's a it's a social construct. There's no mm -hmm. such thing. Like right. when you ask a white person, where are you from? They'll go. I'm white. I'm like, you're not fucking white. You're from a country. Right? Yeah. Where are you from? But I feel like countries, like I feel like Arabs are so like in like intertwined in their culture. At least like I was growing up, like I had to be. I lived in fucking Dearborn. Like everything was like Arab. And I feel like if I lived anywhere else that wasn't like Dearborn, I probably wouldn't be so like in my culture. Like I used to hate being Arab. I'm gonna mm. be real with you. I used to fucking hate it. I used to make sure everybody knew I was like half. Um, my mom was white. I just did not like it because it's you deal you dealt with so much shit. And like honestly, growing up, like I was I don't know if you faced this as well as somebody that's like half. Like I got discriminated against. Like I was too Arab for white people and I was too white for Arabs. I, I got the same thing though. And even I'm full Arab. I had saving grace with white people because I would say I'm Jewish and they'd be like, mm -hmm. Oh, so I had a lot of saving grace there uh growing up. It's it's weird because you kind of want like when we're getting like hate on the internet, it's sometimes I'm like, I'm like to the people that are like hating on us. 
you almost have that like internal like survival instinct where you're like, no, dude, I'm white. I'm just like you. I'm just like you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. it's like fuck you. I felt a lot of that post post nine eleven for sure. Yeah. It was just hard because you're like trying to explain to people like, no, I'm just like you. I'm just like you. And like now I'm like, no, nah, I'm not like you. Fuck you. Like, to be honest, yeah, like, yeah. you're a racist. Like, you, you don't even know where you came from. You don't know. Who right. You, you know, don't like, have I any know culture. Trying you to, don't have any trying culture. to take other people's culture. Yeah. Like, well, I think we're all first generation here. Yes. Um, no, I'm second for my mom. My mom. Your mom. Was, I would be first generation. But Bobby. she was first generation for my dad. Second for my mom, because my mom was kicked out of well, her first generation country. for my for my dad. Second yeah, for same. my mom. Second for so my you're still mom technically too. first generation. Yeah. Well, my mom was my mom was born here. But my first mom, generation my, for my your mom doesn't side. speak Arabic. My mom's got fucking blonde hair and blue eyes. You know, my mom like she, she fucking have blue eyes. She, she has yeah, she does greenish eyes. Oh, she anything. fucking fit in, dude. She I don't know. I she looked looks in, I look deeply in your mom's eyes. I don't think that do not say you do. The reason why my Longingly, mom my mom got discriminated against my mom got discriminated against and hated uh, the discrimination she faced because when she came here there was no nobody even knew Palestine you know mm -hmm. she had they had no idea so they used to be like do you wear the dot on your head do you you know <laughs> do you like they thought she was Indian she's like I'm from the Middle East so like India you know because like she came here in like the 60s 70s yeah you know so she didn't want me and my brother to have the same discrimination but you know lo and behold you know welcome to the fucking comment section here like dude. I fucking hate my name. Do you? Because you have a white name? Yeah, because everyone Bazzy. always asks me. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan Bazzy, you heard it here first. No, it's because everyone assumes I'm a convert. Yeah. But in my head, I'm like, have you ever seen a white bitch have eyebrows like this? <laughs> no. The eyebrows are fake. No, they're real. Those what do you mean? real they're eyebrows. Real? Oh, eyebrows. I thought lashes. Brain, no good. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> How can I fake my eyebrows? No, 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 no. no, it's good. I mean, I, I personally, I think a lot of the times, like, it's hard, man. Like, I feel like this podcast, the reason why we do, do it is to show that, like, we're just, like, the whole purpose is to show the, the diversity mm -hmm. of Arabs. The whole idea of Arabs are just countries that speak Arabic. Yeah. That's why when people say you're Palestinian, go to Lebanon. They can go to the other Arab countries. Bro, are you fucking kidding? We're so different. Somebody you know? yesterday on Twitter, you just reminded me. Somebody told me to go back to Gaza. You're not even from there. I know. Like I'm not from Gaza. I'm from the West Bank. But I know for a fact that when they do it to Gaza, the next target is me. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm one of the good Palestinians. It doesn't do terrorism. I mean, the West Bank is already getting targeted. No, the West Bank, I've had I've had my family left and fled that are Americans that they go there to operate their business. They go out there, they do their business, they come home and they're like, bro, I can't be there anymore. You know what I've been seeing? That's been kind of crazy. Like I've been just seeing it like on my feed because I did birthright. I got, I get some birthright content, but it's always like, look at our volunteers and they're like planting and having such a good time. And like, and like set, but giving out food. And I'm like, this is like really shit propaganda knowing exactly what the fuck is going on. And you're trying to perpetuate that the volunteers are going to have a good time out there. But what are you doing, Israel? It's dude, like it's, that whole like it, like I lo I love doing birthright. I'm not going to I'm not going to shit on the birthright trip itself. I thought it was amazing. I want to. But I thought like the stuff. I thought the fucking I thought doing ads while we're while you guys are in a fucking war war right now saying, come, you can still do birthright. Come, come. Look, obviously, we're, we're all good. Is absolutely fucking insane. I think I think it's the insanity of the of what's going on over there. It's, yeah, it's just you can't you can't reason with genocide. You know, mm -hmm. the, you can't you can't if if you care about human beings and human mm -hmm. life. If eleven thousand children died, ain't nobody ain't nobody gonna be like smiling and happy. Right. Dude, these motherfuckers are like anti-abortion. Anti-abortion. They're pro-life. But as soon as it's like Arabs or anybody that isn't like white, they're like no, they're pro, they're pro life from sixteen weeks till birth till eighteen years old. Mm -hmm. After eighteen, not even, not even. There's so many kids just, in the fucking foster want, system. I think honestly, people who are like heavily pro life on the male side are so, are are pregnant fiat like fanatics. I think they have a huge fetish for it. Because I think, bro, I know a lot of people that are pro life that have pregnancy fetishes. I'm, I'm telling you, I think it's a pregnancy fetish. I think like, oh, we want to see more women pregnant. It's a dominance thing. It's a, it's a, it's a stifling thing. But like, to be honest, my these motherfuckers, you just got in my brain because my friend that's pro life has a pregnancy. One hundred percent, dude. And I also like these people. And I'm not gonna, sh I'm not gonna shit. One time I called him out on it. 
I'm not going to like 100% shit on people who are pro-life because those people who are genuinely pro-life really feel like they're there's like a human life that you are destroying. Mm -hmm. And I totally understand. I totally understand that. You know, it's definitely not what I believe. You also got to be pro the baby. like Bro. But then like if you're going to be pro fucking life, you got to be pro-life the entire fucking time. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if it's just coming out of somebody's vagina. It has to be pro-life in every aspect of life. You know, it's the same people who are pro-life who are pro-death sentence. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, what? Do you, uh, pick a fucking side. Are you ready? Yeah. You're going to say you have a pregnant fetish? You're going to get us canceled. I already know. If I were to get pregnant right now, canceled. I would name the baby Angel because that bitch is going to heaven. And this is my time. This is my turn. This is mine one. No, 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 no. I want to go. This one's mine. But actually, Can no, I... you both leave. I want to get up too. All right, come on. I just need another cup of coffee. I mean, this is the real episode right now. But yeah, I mean, guys, listen, from the public health perspective, listen, I specialize in sexual reproductive health, in maternal health, child health, adolescent health, population health, health communication. This was my field, okay? This was my fucking field. But there are so many kids in like the foster system and the adoption system. Like I think it's like over four hundred thousand. Uh, the last time I checked, um, if you truly advocate for the lives of children, you should uh, advocate for social services uh, assisting these kids. If you really want them to be alive. Plus, the shit that blows my fucking mind is the fact that almost I think it's like forty two percent of pregnancies that happen each year are unintended, meaning they did not want to get pregnant within a year. We got to fix that shit. Sex education. Well, we live in a fucking country where they think promoting abstinence only is going to make people not have sex. But guess what? People are going to fuck. They're just not going to have sex safe. I just don't understand. That's what my tangent I, for the day. Yeah. I think that's good. Thank you. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, uh, we have more to talk about. Uh, I, I don't know how the fuck we ended on this No, This is an insane note. Mm -hmm. I hate it and I feel awkward now. But uh, this concludes the uh, first hour of the show. The rest of it will be put up on Patreon. So if you guys want to go down below, we thank all of our patrons. Uh, I want to thank some of our patrons right now, just uh, right off the rip. Uh, DJ, DJ Skeletor was one of the uh, this uh, large patrons. It was a Saudi oil prince. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some of the... Uh, the really cool patrons. Also, if you guys fill out the form uh, for advice, we're going to be reading that on the Patreon. My favorite patron is Raf's mom. Chat us my mom. Yeah. Uh, but you're going to see uh, some of the rest of the Patreon footage right now. And then if you want to go watch that, it's going to be live on a Patreon right now. Five bucks. All you got to do is see the rest of the episode. Okay. So bye, guys. See you next week. See you guys. Why do you slam, you fucking asshole? <laughs> 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 <laughs>